Uh, two, two things. Uh, I need to pee, and I'm totally unprepared. So prepare for this. This is going to be exciting. Okay. All right. There we go. Hello, my name is Sean Matt, and now my, uh, I just recently opened a new uh, retail store called Bow Concept. It's a design studio in Five Points, and uh, I'm focused on mid-century modern design. Um, it's a really cool store. You should check it out. You should. <laughs> there you go. Here we go now. Um, when I very first moved to Jacksonville, no many furniture uh, stores really represented my style and, and the way I like to put things together. I don't live like that. Um, so I decided I'm going to do it myself. Um, another big reason um, I'm a huge fan of mid-century American design and uh, not one, uh, not one of the um, American design icons were actually represented in America. And a lot of the brands that I actually appreciated and, and admired uh, were not represented in Jacksonville. So people needed to see this, and I, and I said, I'm going to show them. So with that being said, um, I decided to invest my whole life in, uh, into a store called Nest Living. Uh, and there was a few things that I really wanted to make sure that I, um, that I provided for people in Jacksonville. And uh, I wanted to, one, make it an urban-inspired place and make it urban-focused. Uh, I wanted it to be honest design, I wanted to promote better quality than what you can see normally. And so I created a mission. Uh, <laughs> this, mission uh, this mission here, you can read it because I'm not going to be able to talk it in 20 seconds, but it basically says that I'm focusing more so on design and not so on sales. Uh, I believe education uh, is, is, is the key for the success of fitness living. Um, and the reason, uh, when I very first told everybody that I'm going to educate people, they said, you're, you're crazy, you're spending all your money and you're not going to make any back. But I say no, that's not true, because I believe with uh, real education becomes a better quality for understanding, and I'll start to appreciate uh, quality design, and then they'll need it, um, which is my goal. I not only make some money back and pay off my loans, uh, I also have additional spokespeople for modern design, and I've also got another loyal Nest Living customer, and then I also have a cheaper, more effective advertising campaign. Yes! Uh, so then I said, okay, what do I want this store to look like? And I said, you know what? Jacksonville has really shit retail. I'm gonna make a store that looks like you can walk in it and, and people can say, you know what, I feel like I'm in New York. I feel like I'm in Tokyo. I don't feel like I'm in Jacksonville. And that's cool. That is cool, trust me. The other thing that I wanted to do was I only wanted to sell what I love. I, I love quality design and I love, I love things that mean something. This is uh, some wallpaper that I sell. Uh, it doesn't look like wallpaper, it's really cool. And I'm going to tell you a little more about it, but uh, I only sell stuff that I've tried and tested and that I love. And that's my promise to everybody in Jacksonville. I also wanted to make sure that everything in my shop was just a little bit more special than everybody else in the market. Um, not, many, not many retail stores can tell you that 90% of their product is made in the United States. Uh, I only sell quality things with uh, organic cotton and toxic paints and reclaimed teeth and things that mean something. Um, I am also a firm believer in avoid throwawayism. And what is that? Throwawayism is buying crap. And you don't buy crap because you throw it away and you just buy something else. Good design lasts forever. And design challenges consumers. So the better quality the stuff that you buy, the more you're going to have it and the more money you're going to have. Now I need to just talk to you about a couple of the brands that I carry because I think they're really important and, they're, uh, and I'm excited about them. Uh, Madonica, it's all handmade in Los Angeles. They, they make mid-century modern furniture. It's, it's clean and the quality is fantastic. You should really come and sit on some of these servers. They're fantastic. Go. <laughs> this, this, this line, uh, I'm in love with this line. This is, the, the, this is a mid-century American design icon that no American knows about. And that's crazy that an Australian is standing up here telling you about it. It's, it's organic form. It's really, really, uh, it's just beautiful stuff. You need to come and touch it because once you touch it, you will never look back. Uh, actually, last time I was in Denmark, I found this line. And this is one of the, the yeah, this is not American. This is a Finnish line, but, uh, but this, these guys, can, uh, they, they combine like really, really good quality like organic porcelain with wood veneers. And the design is all about the form and the function and not so much about the cost. Um, and it's quite affordable too. Um, 
This, this line here is fantastic. You, you can't buy outdoor furniture and not look like an idiot when you sit in, a, in Jacksonville. Now you can buy this stuff. This is reclaimed teak furniture and it's, it, it's sustainably cool. It's made from plantation grown teak and it looks fantastic. And it's, uh, it's well worth the money because this sort of stuff will last forever. To all the audio, I go everywhere, uh, everywhere that I go in Europe, in every little design studio, I see this American icon. And I come here, I don't even see it. That's really weird because it's an American design. It's been around for like 50 years in the States and it's, 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 it's low quality and it's cool. I can't believe we're buying these little boss plastic things and uh, anyway. This, this guy is great and this is probably one of my favorite lines. This is a, this is a vessel architectural uh, pottery. They actually hold the license for all of the, uh, the mid-century modern plot planters and outdoor for, um, pottery and things like that. It's really cool. Come and look at it. I know I'm going up. Yep. Um, not too many bedding manufacturers can tell you that they go to landfills and they actually take recycled bottles and they actually turn them into fibers to put them into their cushions to sell you. You know, this, this company is all totally organic and plus it looks cool. It's really Scandinavian looking, but it's handmade in Los Angeles, it's hot. Um, okay, my last thing is uh, I have some challenges and, uh, and basically uh, I have a market that is way too big for my little shop. Uh, the, the place is so big um, and, and not a lot of people are going to like my stuff because one is maybe too expensive, maybe it's not the right style. Um, we have a price before product mentality in Jacksonville and that's something that we need to educate. Um, but this is why I really wanted to do it today because I know you guys are my target audience and, and I really, I just need to help because design really matters and, and, and a more educated design community that we have, it, it changes our society. And, um, and, and design asks questions and, uh, and asks why we do things and it makes us totally happier. Thank you.